Hello, hello, lovelies. Hello, happy new year. This is your weekly dose of light. This is a new series that I'm starting this year to bring you inspiration, of course, light language to activate you, to support you as we move through this journey this year. You know, each year brings through um, a different flavor of our journey, requiring us to step up to that next level or become our next self, I should put it that way. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to another week of the Dose of Light. <laughs> Welcome to those of you who don't know me. My name is Abigail Mensa Bonsu, and I am the host of the Sovereign Goddess Podcast. I am the founder of the Moon Goddess Academy and Moon Goddess Publishing, and I work with women who are ready to come home to themselves, to really anchor and root deeply into who they really are. And I do this through powerful spiritual tools that activate, awakens, aligns, and helps you embody all that you are, all of your light, so that you can live, you can live the life that you know you came here to live. Um, I love what I do. And this is one of my ways of giving back. You know, each week I bring through a light language transmission to support you through the week. And to be honest, that light language transmission can support you longer than that because they are timeless. And each time that you listen to these transmissions, you receive exactly what it is that you need. So each week I just bring through a fresh new transmission. And on top of that, I bring through, you know, whether a goddess guide or last time I did a dragon guide. Um, this time I'm doing something different, bringing through a different message through. Um, I love, I love it. I love what comes through, um, to support you, which is what it is all about. It's not about me. I'm just a channel. It's really about how can I be of service? What can I bring through that can help the most people? Yeah. So welcome. If you're here, it is not by accident. You were meant to be here. You, If you're listening to this, even at a later date, it is not by accident. You were meant to be here at this time, receiving this transmission. Mm. <laughs> All right. So first of all, who we just walked through the new moon with the dragon new year or the Chinese new year, which is um, in the dragon zodiac. And I don't know about you guys. I love dragons. I've been walking with dragons for God knows how long. Um, but on top of that, you know, one thing that I talk about in my business, in my mentoring of women, the first thing that I do is align them with their higher self. One of our higher self's technologies, actually our golden dragon bodies. And I'm telling you, you know, we talk about auras. We talk about, you know, especially if you've been listening to me for a while, we, I always take you through this centering meditation where you connect it, you connect to above or you receive the love and the light from above and then from below and you place it within your heart and then through your own higher self. And then you create this bubble of light all around you. Well, imagine a massive golden dragon around you everywhere you go it, that is not even i'm not talking about the, this technology is not from an animal guide this is part of your higher self's technology if you want to know about that and unlock your own send me a message in let's chat actually there's three activations that you go through to it's like once i connect you to your higher self then we activate those three bodies the other one is the angelic wings <laughs> right we activate that one too. A lot of people don't realize this. This is why it's so important to be connected to your higher self. Not only does he or she knows what this life is all about and has the answers and is just waiting for you to be like, hey, I need help. Can you help me? Can you help me solve this problem? Can you bring me tools? Can you bring me the solution, right? It is our higher selves are us, the part of us that's connected to source, the, the part of us that's holding it down for us as we experience this human density. It's the part of us that doesn't have to experience that density. It's the part of us that when you connect to it, it gives you the motivation to keep going, moving forward. I mean, I'm, I'm actually simplifying it. If you are connected to your higher self, you know what I'm talking about. It is, 
I just want everybody to be connected to the higher selves, which is a huge part of my mission. A huge part of my mission It's one of the first doors that you enter when you come to work with me. Connect into your higher self. We just <laughs> anchor, anchor that divinity right in you. I mean, if you have been listening to me even through, you know, the weekly goddess energy forecast or this daily dose of um, light, you know, I do that by helping, you know, centering you in that divine light and bringing through that divinity to surround you. You kind of get that, that a taste of that, which is still very powerful. But when you truly understand the technologies that are unlocking that you have access to, it just, if you want to know more, let's chat. <laughs> let's chat. All right. So this week, the message that is coming through, especially with the dragon energy. And we are in this, this whole year, 2024 is the year of the dragon. It's the wood dragon. And I love that so much. Maybe it's because one of my, my triad in the Chinese elements, one of my elements, my main element is the wood. So um, if you're looking at like five elements in traditional Chinese medicine, you know, each of us have like the three top ones that we are, um, that we're considered because each of the elements means something, right? So one of mine is wood. And I love that because wood is about growth. It's about expansion. It's still a portion of earth, right? So very much connected to earth, but I love the expansive nature of it, the growing nature of it, the, the emerald green. And that's kind of like what, what I see, you know, I've been feeling the dragon energy and it's just, it's like my, my kid self, my inner child self, which is, you know, she, she's like the magical child. She is the magical child, you know, it's just giggling, you know, again, her con as I'm talking about this, it's like more messages are coming through. It's like she's connected to Merlin and Merlin. We know Merlin's connection to dragons. Like she, that's the realm that she plays in, you know? So she was just like, oh, yes, it's our time. And even though I'm not, you know, in, in the zodiac sense, I'm not a dragon. I'm actually the pig. You know, like I'm still feeling this energy. And, you know, taking this powerful dragon energy... And then add in the number eight, you know, 2024 is the eight year, which is about power, the balance of power, prosperity, abundance, self-empowerment, right? Security. You add all of that to it. I mean, it's going to be a powerful year. Who like it doesn't matter who you are or what year, personal year number, um, or like you're going to feel this. This is you're going to feel this energy. Here's the thing. I want you to think back to 2012. Do you remember what happened in 2012 for you? Go back to 2012, like grab your journal right now, go back to 2012 and then write down the things that happened. I don't know about you, but 2012, 2012 actually started at, 20, at the end of 2011, moving into 2012, but it was a very powerful, spiritual, spiritually activating year for me. And it was the last dragon year that that was actually a water dragon. And now we're in the wood dragon. So if you want to know how you were with the dragon energy, go back to 2012 and look at what opened up for you. What you, you know, what is it that you experienced? How did you feel? How did you change? It's going to give you a clue about the dragon energy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, yesterday, I don't know, have you guys heard of the Sophia Code by Kaya Ra? Um, it, if you haven't read it, read this book, you need to read it. Especially all the women that work with me, they read this because it is an activating, it's a book of activation. And especially for women, for the, it just awakens the divine feminine within you in a way that Nobody else in that spirit in the spiritual field can even touch. And Kaya Ra is like it just she's incredible. So she did a ceremony um, for the Chinese New Year, welcoming the dragon. The whole point, the whole big part, one of the big activations in the Sophia Code is the um the the what do you call it? Um it's like the the ensophic, I don't even know if I'm using the the right word. It's like seraphim dragons. So these light dragons are right by the divine. Like they're right there by the divine. They're 
powerful and we're all connected to them. And, you know, you get the activation. It, it was the most powerful ceremony ever. Like it just, I already felt my connection with the dragons, but this time like awakening my own higher self, my own dragons. And I actually drew my dragon. I put it on the wall. I'll, I will take a picture and actually show it to you. Actually, it's going to show. I'm going to put it there. <laughs> but yeah, I drew it out, um, my wood dragon. Um, but the whole journey she walked us through to connect with all the different dragons and to get activated in their blessings, it was just incredible. Through the ceremony, you know, as she's walking us through and what I received, these two that I received wasn't part of what she was walking us through. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that... Um, especially those who've been in the activate your, you know, your yearly bl blueprint course is a four week course I've been talking about. I walk you through a process that helps you to create or chart your course. It helps you to see what this year is about for you. It's not just know, but to actually see what your soul has in store for you. And on top of that, you also open up to see the guides who are here to walk with you specifically this year. Most people don't, don't recognize or don't see this, that each year we get a new set of guide because our soul is asking us to become the next level of us. And, you know, even the challenges that our soul is bringing through to promote soul growth, right? So there's new guides that come through to support us on that journey. And so these guides can be crystal guides. They can be plant guides. They can be ascended masters. I mean, it's limitless. <laughs> you know, your guides, like if I could show you your guides, which actually I do when we work together, you get to experience your guides and you see all the different guides that you have. So um, each year, you know, there's guides that come to you. And, you know, last year, one of my big guides was Frida Kahlo. She was very impactful um, in terms of really um, deepening and rooting into my creativity, helping me to transform pain into beauty, you know, putting pain onto paper, which Neurographica really helped me do that. That was the, the thing that bridged those two for me. It was powerful. And then this year, it was so funny because before the ceremony, I was feeling like I wanted to be a nun. It's so weird. It's like a week before this, I was feeling like I wanted to be a nun. And I was like, oh, maybe it's because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> that connection. Because here's the thing. One thing I admire about nuns and monks is that they get to solely just focus on their service to the divine and then through that serve humanity. They don't have any um, distractions. They don't, like, that's all it is. They eat, drink, breathe in the divine. And it, I just love that. It's just, oh. And it's probably because past life I have had that where um, I was a monk and I lived in the mountains. Actually, it was the last the last life that I was in. So it's still very alive to me. So when that kept coming in, I was like, well, how's that going to work in this lifetime? <laughs> That'll be interesting. And the other part is that I started to see, you know, there's a new movie coming out um, about Mother Cabrini, um, who is a saint who her work has to do with, she created like all these opportunities that took care of children. Her passion was with children to really be with the children. And she actually has um, a shrine here where they call it a shrine. Um, and you go there and you walk up these, the steps in the mountains, you get to the top. It's like a whole prayer thing. And I do that here. You know, I'm not connected to the Catholic religion, but I love that that dedication because it's hard work climbing up there. But as you're climbing, you're praying to the divine and you're releasing the baggage. That's like the thing, you know? And I just, I've always, I loved it. I remember the last time I went there, this was last year. And I was like, oh, you know, I actually started reading about her and her mission, but it, it was just a, like a little glimpse. And so in the ceremony, <laughs> as we're in there, you know, she came in, I was like, oh, She's my guide for this year. So I have, you know, usually there's a, an ascendant master that will come through, um, like usually immediately before even the year, 
you know, the new year begins. And so that this year for me is Lakshmi and Ganesha. It's really cool because I got this pear thing going on this year. And uh, last year was the same thing. I had an ascended master and then I had like a, a, a master mentor who used to be human, if that makes sense. Like someone that we are like, oh yeah, we can like watch a documentary about them, you know, like present human. Um, but I, I wasn't expecting that this year because it doesn't always happen. And then, you know, she came through and was like, oh, you're my guide for this year. This will be interesting. And the fact that like a movie is coming out about her, like it's just incredible. So my question for you is that, have you noticed who is here to support you this week? Who is here? And not even this week, this year, let's just open it up. Who is here to support you? in becoming who your soul wants you to become this year? Who are the guides who have stepped forward? Are you aware of them? And that's what I'm feeling like this light language is really gonna open you up to begin to see. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to what you see, hear, feel, sense, you know, who is coming to support you this year so that you can become who your soul wants you to be this year, right? And again, these guides can be plant guides. It can be crystal guides. Like my plant guide that came through um, is the redwoods, which actually came through my dragon. <laughs> it's like the redwoods. I was like, okay, let's do this. We got Mother Cabrini here. We have the redwoods. You know, my crystal guide, of course, is this one, the lapis um, for the year. Each year I get a crystal guide that comes in to support me. So are you aware of yours? And if you want to know yours, this is why I created my activated program, my activate your 2024 blueprint. Come join us. We're starting this week. So it's a perfect time to still jump in. Um, after this four weeks, this is the, I do a live event once a year. And then the next one is going to be in May, but it's going to be all recorded. And so you don't really get to interact with me um, as much as you do the first time. And by May, it's like we're almost halfway, you know, down the year. Why don't you start the year off powerfully, knowing exactly what this year is for you, knowing exactly, um, you know, what type of challenges will be coming up for you, where you're being asked to focus your energy. Why don't you start that at the beginning of the year rather than halfway point? So again, I'm going to invite you to come into the Activate. Find the link below. If this is calling you, stop holding yourself back. Come join us. It is powerful. It is a journey <laughs> that once you learn it, it would change the way you greet the year from this point moving forward. So close your eyes. Take in a deep breath in here. And out. <laughs> At this moment, just let it all go. Just let it all go. All the, the thinking, everything that you have to do, just let it all go at this time. I want you to bring your awareness into your heart. Breathe in into your heart and see that beautiful flower open up and bloom as you breathe that fresh oxygen into your body. And now bring your awareness to your forehead and imagine the energy of your mind as that blue ball of light right at the center of your head and begin to allow this blue of light to descend down all the way down into your heart. And when it reaches the heart, it goes right at the center of the, the open blossom, the, the open flower. And the flower just kind of encloses around it to just kind of hold it. And your mind, the energy of the mind just kind of relaxes. It's like this is a time for the energy of your mind to just kind of take a seat back and just relax and rejuvenate. <laughs> it feels really good when you do that. And just breathe. And as you breathe, you notice the mind is getting purified, is realigning with the heart's energy. Ah. 
at this point, go ahead and call in your higher self to be fully present within your heart. Welcome him or her and really feel, sense, or see him or her emerge within your heart. It might be a ball of light. It might be a star. It might be an actual being that steps into your heart. Whatever it is, just welcome that energy and see, sense, or feel that energy or that frequency of that energy vibrate and pulsate through your entire body. And at this time, open up to receive the divine light from the, the heart of the divine father above, moving down your channel all the way into your heart where it anchors. And then it moves all the way down, out through your feet. And it creates these roots of light and anchors that divine light, that heaven light, heavenly light into your earth. Taking a deep breath in here. And now open, your, open up your channel again, allowing that earth light to come up from the heart of the divine mother that beautiful emerald green gold light to come up through your channel bring it all the way up and let it anchor into your heart before it continues upward and then it comes out from the top of your head and spews all around your body creating just this it's like cleansing the outside of your body to the the different levels of your body so we have the mental body the emotional body and the spiritual body and it's just kind of moving through all those layers releasing clearing healing mm, there you go and bring your awareness back into your heart where now you have the the light of your higher self from the divine father above and then from the divine mother below all coming together there you go right at the center of your flower your heart flower and this it, it becomes like such a powerful ball of light that it begins to just send out these vibrations of light there you go and it just expands 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 and creates this beautiful opalescent layer around you and breathe into this place where you're anchored below into the earth through your roots and then anchored above into the heavens through your crown through your channel and into your heart through your own divinity your higher self breathe into these this place And at this point, I want you to stay into your heart as I bring through the light language. And again, I ask that you open up, pay attention to what you see, what you feel, what you smell. Like use your senses, your guides will use your senses to communicate with you. See who steps forward or around you, which guides reveal themselves to you, whoever shows up. Is who's walking with you this year to support you. Are you ready? Take a deep breath in and out. Makari shiro moro mori shiatari aki di nasa bahi di shiro oro moi dia are ki at at mori aki dia shore ati ana ki atara sara me she nasa ki atara koya me ye she ni ak arum ut enasa ak arum ut enasa share ki ataro soro moi dia. Mori es yara ki dina, dara karo moedia, dara ishi et enne seria, moedia, kare shoro moia, da ye shera maedia, nagia shoro moedia, dara kia te shene kea, bore shidia kare a dup, shud no oria kia dina. So stay within your heart, open your heart, and just receive. Korea shidia aka aredia, moro ishinia aka are soro boria kia, tore serene ne seroro moria kia, tere soro moedia, mekia soro moria, tera koro 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 koro
anything that might be in the way of you receiving that which you are ready to receive at this time from your own divinity and from the bigger divinity, the divine of all that is. Hare do, hare do, re, shoro, moro, 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 shara, hare do, no, wore, etia, more, shush. Oriti ak aromoenia, moria shoro oriaka, nasa ake no korea, nasa aidea, oria shiria, moia moia naia ak oria, noia shiara kare. Welcome, masters, welcome, cherasia, moia tera, saria ak oria, tarisinia kai oroia ne ekea to. Doria Shiaka, welcome masters. Dena sa, welcome guardians. Aria, Dena, Moria Tatata Soruya. Shiedia, Kare do ok oro moedia. Nakea ta saroria shira. Nokea ta sere nia caro moe naya Noe haria tata siya shoromo. We are now pouring light into your mind and your heart, removing anything that may be in the way of you receiving your blessings for this year now. Koria tia. Ta joro shu. Pera nas akare de shu. Pera si akare doro shu. Nea taria koromo enia. Nea hare a hare a hare a doro goro moe na kia nae a te e e koro moe nia ai doro soya. Take a deep breath in here. Hold at the top and release slowly through your nose. One more time, deep breath. Hold at the top. And release through your nose slowly. We now anchor lock and seal this light transmission on every level of your being. We thank the divine, our guides and guardians, our beautiful higher self, and all the, the beautiful masters of light. Thank you for this activation. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you, guardians, for showing up to support us this year as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath in and release. It is done. It is done. It is done. By the power of three, a perfect trinity. It is done. Mm. Beautiful. We're going to go right into our message for the week. So this week I am actually using, um, I'm using the dreams of Gaia tarot. I think it's very interesting, you know, you know, having the, the wood dragon, really that connection to the earth. Like I'm really feeling it. It's so funny because, the cards that my supporting cards that I chose for this month, they all show the dragon and also an aspect of who I'm becoming this year, which is the Empress. Um, and it's just, it's beautiful. So the card that came up to guide us this week is the four of water. And the, the key words associated to this card is confidence, awareness, self-acceptance, forgiven, self-belief, deserving, receptive, consequence. You are beautiful. Be aware of weaknesses, but focus on strengths. Mistake an opportunity to learn. Mistakes are opportunities to learn. This has been coming in a lot this weekend. Let go of the ideal of perfection. Love yourself for who you are. Happiness at another's expense. The emotional cost of your actions. These are all the key phrases that come with this card. All right. The four of water stands before you. Take a deep breath in. 
drop into your heart and receive. The four of water stands before you with quiet confidence and awareness. Despite his scarred appearance, he sees only beauty when he looks at his reflection. A gentle smile curves his lips as he regards himself with kindness and understanding. He has many weaknesses and during his lifetime has made many mistakes and yet he chooses to see the lessons he has learned and forgive himself instead of holding on to the feelings of shame, regret, and guilt. Every scar makes him more beautiful and every mistake presents him presents him the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become wiser. Like all of us, he has many strengths to balance out his weaknesses, and it is these strengths on which he chooses to focus. He believes he is deserving of both love and happiness, and even when life offers an experience that scars, he refuses to allow hurt or disappointment to erode his self-belief or close his heart. This means, this does not mean that he is blind to his flaws. Rather, he accepts them for what they are, part of a whole that is imperfect and perfect at the same time. The four of water arrives today for you to ask you whether you look at yourself with less love than you should. Do you see only your flaws and imperfections and feel as if you should apologize for having them? Instead, seeing them as something that gives you depth and character. Those flaws and scars and imperfections are aspects of your nature that make you truly beautiful. You would shine like the sun if you would accept them and forgive them and allow them to simply be a part of who you are. It is time to let go of the idea that to be perfect is to be without flaw. Stop looking for the perfect relationship, the perfect idea or creation, the perfect career, or the perfect opportunity. Every relationship, every idea or creation, and every path, every career path, and every opportunity has flaws, imperfections, and the potential to fail or go awry. Realize that perfection is a paradoxical state that exists only when there is peaceful acceptance and unconditional love for those scars, weaknesses, and flaws. Perfection is only achieved in seeing those scars, weaknesses, and flaws, and accepting and loving them, knowing that they are an undeniable necessary part of the beautiful, magical whole. The fourth water comes to ask that you release any emotions of inadequacy or discomfort. You are, in this moment, everything you are meant to be, and so much more. Love yourself without condition. Listen up. You are worthy and deserving of all that you dream of. But remember so is everyone else. What if your joy comes at the expense of another person? Can you stand tall and proud and have respect for yourself if your happiness carries the price of another person's heartbreak or failure? Can you take genuine delight in your circumstances? Unintentional actions that cause hurt are one thing and can be forgiven, but what of emotional consequences of an act done with awareness and intent? The four of water, when it appears, cautions you against vanity, arrogance, selfishness, and self-importance, and symbolizes a need to look yourself in the eyes. Are you about to choose a path that leads to another's distress or downfall? If the question, if the answer is yes, be mindful of the fact that the universe, the universal law of cause and effect will hold court and sit in judgment. As always, there will be reward and consequence offered. If your choice is to continue forward, 
knowing that you may bring emotional anguish to another, be sure that the reward is far greater than the price you may end up. The price you may end up paying. If you are at a crossroads, don't do it. You still have the opportunity to answer no and have your actions reflect that choice. You are worthy. You are deserving. You are beautiful. Your flaws, your imperfections, they all make you the beautiful, magical being that you are. Take a deep breath in here. And out. Thank you, Four of Water. Thank you. Bringing us the teachings of our heart on about relationships and connections. Helping us to accept ourselves fully and also others as well. And to understand that we are all here for a reason. We are all on our own paths. And everybody here on this planet deserves to live their life, the, the life of their dreams. We all have a life of our dreams. We come here with seeds of our dreams already planted within us. We all have our own. And if we could just accept not just ours, but others, that we can all prosper together. We can all be abundant together. We can all be wealthy together. We can all be in love together. Then collectively, we would rise. We would rise so quick <laughs> and with such power that everything on the outside will have no choice but to shift, to create a new container for that reality. And it's actually already happening. It's already happening. But don't forget that. This was a beautiful and powerful message that we received. And again, after hearing the message, go back, listen to the light language again, and let that move through you, removing any layers of arrogance, selfishness, vanity, putting yourself ahead of someone else, putting yourself before someone else or I said it beautifully in the in the message where your joy is on account of someone else's distress any kind of that within you within your dna that no longer serves you we clear it we clear it we clear it Whew. beautiful ah <sighs> thank you again for receiving this week's dose of light. Again, go back and listen to the light language. Let it move through you and support you through this week. Remember, these light language transmissions are timeless. If you know anybody who needs to receive these transmissions, please send this to them. You can watch this on YouTube. You can watch it on Spotify. You can listen or watch um, on Apple Podcasts. It's everywhere. Send it. Share it. And for those of you who are already doing that, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Thank you for your love. You are the reason why I'm doing this. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm doing this for you. I'm bringing the support through for you all. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for receiving the transmissions. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for interacting with me. Those of you who send me messages, keep them coming. I love it. I love it. I love it. Are my ideas. Again, if you're interested in walking with us on the Activate Journey, this four week powerful program, you can still join in this week. So click on the link below, come join us. But until next time, ah, may the dragons bless you. <laughs> may you see your guides. I want you to write it down. Actually, if you want to share with me, send me a message, share. Who came for you? And sometimes, you know, these guides, they might not look 
the way you think they would. They might come in, you know, with a different symbol. But as you talk about it, you're like, oh, this makes sense. This, this, you know, color is connected to this being, right? So share it with me so that we can anchor that and also to open your awareness to the help, the divine help that is here to support you, the, the divine support that is here for you. All right, my loves, from my heart to yours. Until next time, have a magical, powerful, potent week.